Outlander 145 here, and I'm here to talk to you about my brand new bag. This thing. No, I mean not this thing, but it should be this thing. But what is this? An AOL disc? Okay, nothing close to the real thing then. What is this? The late 90s? No! No, it's not. It's not even the early 2000s, but I have an old, decrepit piece of technology from the early 2000s. Let's go! And we will see what I'm talking about. The Dimension 2500! Oh, yes, I do apologize. I do mean the Dimension 2400, not the 2500. Uh, not the... 2350, not the uh, Dimension 3500, oh, but the Dimension 2400, about as low end as it gets. 845GV chipset, micro ATX standard, awesome power button. FLOPPY! And I mixed and matched out the CD-ROM drives a little bit. 16x CDR, and I don't know about that DVD ROM drive, but uh, you need it. You just do. You'll also notice that I have a Netgear wireless adapter stuck in here because I was just too lazy to take it out. Above that, my onboard sound is completely moot because right down here we have a PCI YMF724 Yamaha sound card. Wickedly old. It is amazing that it even works on my Windows XP. But the more you know. Shifting to the left a bit, we also have a PCI G4 6200 NVIDIA card. It's far superior to the onboard Intel Extreme graphics included with the 845G chipset. The only reason that a PCI is in there is because this cannot take AGP or PCIe. This is the thing. Obviously, I'm probably going to put in the video title that this is about upgrading the dang processor. Because you suck, Celeron. Kill all the Celerons ever. Why do you make these dang budget classes? I'm keeping the label, though. Doesn't look that bad. Your time has come, Celeron. Slap that case, slap it through, ride it! Check this out. This is the process is gonna be glued to it. Oh man! Oh! Oh man! I can't break the CPU pins, man! That'd be terrible! Hold on one moment. Alright, I'm just gonna replicate a sound here. Snap! Look at this! Look at this! What is that? That is some really good dang thermal paste. That's what that is. Stuck on there! You know you have good packing for your processor when you have a silica packet and a glass casing.
now we're going to put this in without any plastic bag or anything because, whoa, heaven forbid, this isn't rocket science. Oh, herp derp. There we go. Zero insertion four socket work your magic. Oh, sweetness. I'm gonna apply a bit of ceramic too to this. This is going to be the grain of rice application. Not gonna do much here, because I don't want to tempt fate and the forces of darkness. This is gonna be a tough one. Always is. Freaking rig's so dang tight. We got, I'm going to zoom out, we have this green wind tunnel back on and now we're going to put up a comparison video of the after effects of this experiment in heat sink gluing technology. In the last clip, you saw that I was putting in a processor. Well, forget that. It's all out of your mind. You know that? That was, that was the sound of a... You know, your brain just zapping that away. Like a microprocessor. Blast that microprocessor out of your mind. It's history. Why? Because... <laughs> I was a freaking idiot! I took it out. I mean, well, I didn't put it in right. Two pins on the corner. Did you see that? I was a freaking moron! Two weeks have passed. You can see that I got a stupid haircut. Maybe my beard's grown in a little bit more. And I honestly hate myself for that. I had to wait two weeks. But it's done. It's ready. So we're just gonna act like this thing worked. Let's go. All right, this probably isn't going to be great, but I'm going to walk you through uh, the Celeron versus Pentium 4 comparison. Now, first thing I do is screw around with Rocket Dock a bit on the Celeron. As you can see, it's actually already pretty dang uh, smooth, considering the fact that it's a Celeron, but we have to consider that I already have two gigs of RAM installed and uh, you know, a G4 6200 card by NVIDIA, it's going to be boosted enough to the point that it's just going to naturally be all right. The Pentium 4 probably isn't going to do all that much, frankly. And, spoiler, it doesn't. To further demonstrate things, I tried to uh, see the audio skipping problem here to demonstrate that, but it's really stupid and it actually has no point because actually I suddenly figured out then that it was really the uh, CD audio that was not being corrected by the drive. Error correction not on. STUPID! Okay, 
<clears throat> I also tried some Backstreet Boys here. Another really stupid comparison, but you can't. You see, when I try to, you do. You do see a, just a tiny bit of slowdown and the fact that the screen flickers when I tried to move things. Now I'm going to exit a couple of windows, and my last final demonstration that might be of any use in this comparison is going to be Chex Quest 3. But of course I don't really care about 3 all that much, so I'm actually going to play 1. As a bonus, you're going to hear the FM synthesis. This is legit. This is coming from the YMF724. I think that about covers everything, and I will see you back on the Pentium 4 part. Alright, here we have the Pentium 4 comparison. Uh, probably as equally as lame as the Celeron comparison, but hopefully I do a couple things that make it stand out a bit more. You notice that it is overall processing very smoothly, just about everything. Here I badly show the statistics and everything of my rig and the hyper-threading that was enabled, but you can't see anything because the screen resolution is high and mighty crap. Here I'm going to demonstrate two uh, 1080p or at least 720p videos which actually play relatively smoothly. But since I want to keep uh, partnership status and everything in really good standing, I cannot show you all of Rahana's videos so um, just look for that yourself. And the other video I'm going to show here is uh, Scarlet Santana with CNC Music Factory. Absolutely one of my favorite songs. The dance remix, anyways. As you can see, there are a couple of uh, hiccups in the video. I wasn't able to completely smooth that out. And just so you know, I also had to have this on uh, real-time processing priority through the task manager, so it wasn't a any easy thing. So, this rig does have its limitations, let me tell you. And here we finally have Chex Quest 3 once again. A couple of initial hiccups in trying to get it to run, but you will hear the XG audio drivers that I installed. Enjoy. Oh, and uh, speed run. Peace out.